Reg and I were just saying it's such a lovely summer evening. Oh my, it's the prettiest, one of the prettier days we've had all year. We've had two days in a row of beautiful, beautiful summer weather. Um, and I thought, let's just do an evening walk through the garden. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to walk through the garden. It's, I don't know, close to seven o'clock. Uh, and we'll see what's happening. It, it's always nice to take a walk in the garden. So let's take a look. Being here on the river is just, you know, you can't beat this spot. A little breeze is so quiet. We are very fortunate. It is so peaceful here on this river deck. And we have a cat. <laughs> and that little polka dot plant in the in the pots doing just so cute. Never grown. It's an annual. Uh, picked it up at Plant the Seed. Uh, another garden girl was saying, you've never planted one of these? You need one. So I, I bought a pack of four. And I really like how it looks in that pot. It's just doing a great job. But anyhow, this this is a lovely space to begin just a walk through, an evening walk in the garden. And, uh, you know, I don't know how many times you probably guys get tired of seeing, you know, the fern walk, but um, I don't ever tire of it. And it leads us, you know, into the rest of the shade garden, which is just doing fabulous. But before we get to the shade garden, Will it make you dizzy, Reg, if we go back and forth and back and forth? Oh, thanks a lot. But all the new plantings are doing beautiful. And you can see how they light up with a little bit of sun this time of the evening, particularly from the deck. You can see um, the caladiums and you can see all the new uh, cucaras and brunera and the uh, virginia. I think, is that correct? I think it is. I thought I had a... It's all right. I think it is a Virginia. Me and my tags. But what's going on is you can see the sedums are heading up nicely. Well, it's that time of year for them, isn't it? Yeah, it's getting to be. Yeah, it's a fall bloomer. But we'll get to that when we get down at the other end of the garden. But I love how this Minarda has taken over this year, even though it's it's coming to an end too. But I love the scent. I love the color. But the phlox hasn't been in bloom, I don't think, in any of our walks. And oh, what a scent! I've oh, had to. I can smell it a mile away. I know it's such a nice yeah. fragrance. I've had to keep it sprayed. The deer, you know, they have come in, uh, and they're leaving things alone. But I've been so diligent. I've I've used a lot of liquid fence. You know, I, you want to know how many you've used? No, I don't want to. Because I keep count. The other thing I like about this garden is, even though it's starting to wane, uh, what I like about having my little lily puts is it covers up that area behind here where I had irises and I've cut those back and where the daylilies are. Yeah, it looks a little bare back looks there. looks bare, but when you're standing at this point, you can see how it just gives you that, that boost of color and it'll last till frost comes. These, you know, you cut them and they will bloom. And then the other thing you're noticing too is that you can see that, you know, a few of the annuals that I bought there at the end of season or no, uh, in June, these nice uh, coleuses, they're starting to shine. I'm letting these go to seed. These are my larkspur, and uh, I need to just take their seed heads and scrape back the mulch and let them fall into the soil, and hopefully they'll rebloom. But I have autumn, uh, autumn joy sedum throughout the garden, and it gets a beautiful pink color, which we can see as we move up. But you can see the coleus here, and you know it's just that time of year that. You can the things that are starting to bloom late summer are coming out. Like um, you can see the Cleomes that just reseed themselves, which I just think their colors are beautiful. The Cleomes are coming out. Of course, the flocks. The other thing that's happening are all of my roses are budding back out. They're getting ready to do their second flush. And this is that uh, knockout rose, the uh, the double petaled and it is so pretty yeah the deer ate a few buds off you can see right there um but if you keep them sprayed it helps we only have one but what's, uh, the, what's the number between nine and seven nine and seven mm -hmm. eight. <laughs> eight that's how many <laughs> bottles <laughs> i know i mean it's, it's taken a lot this year but it's so worth it i mean what i have found though even last night 
Um, I haven't sprayed because if we quit having rain. We've been several days without rain, so I haven't sprayed in several days. Um, but what what day lily they love, and I knew they would, is this lovely, lovely yellow day lily, but it has a fragrance. And it has they have come in, you can see right here. Oh yeah. Uh back here is the freshest one. You can see how it just pulled the bud right off of there. And uh, it's okay, you know, you have to feed them, but they're not eating it crazily. But the pur purple hue girl look great this time of night. Oh, I love, 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 love my morning glory vine. It's just going to do its thing. Um, but when, you t when I'm talking about the sedum, here's what I like. When it starts giving us this little pink color, but how can it be August almost already? Yeah, well, in a couple of days. I know, look at this. But I like the sedum, how it gives you that color. Just beautiful. No complaints from me. Uh, and this this bed, you know, even though it's waning, the yarrow gives me that color, even when it's faded. I love it. I love my bird bath. The birds have been coming to it. The pond gives me so much pleasure. So let's go on back to the shade garden. Excuse me, Reg. But this time of night, it really looks nice. Uh, another reason, too, you can see that... Uh, Zephyrin Druin Rose is full of buds and she's going to give me those beautiful pinks and it picks up the pink in the astilbes and um yeah. <laughs> a little another hack I came down here and spray painted the astilbes once they've been dry pink and white you can see a little bit of spray paint got on some of the leaves but I think it fools the eye enough to give me the color to pick up on that uh pink of the rose not a bad and then it picks up on this Wonderful heuchera. I just love my heucheras. You know, we all get addicted. But, um, you know, you can see in the shade garden all the colors of greens and white. And uh, that is uh, the big, big leafed hostas, elegans. And those are the blooms off of elegans. But we get into down into this little garden, shade garden, where you have the heucheras. But I have, you know, the maiden fern back here. You can see where it gets a little too much sun. It'll get a little brown spots on it. Hold on. And, uh, but these hostas look lovely in here, these patriots. Oh, no, these are called, uh, I can't even read my own. Doesn't matter. They're beautiful coloration. That's my um, white anemone. It's, it's doubled since we've had it. And it is gorgeous when it's in bloom. Well, did I, that come from the, the Fricks, the, no, Frisk, Fricks Museum up in Pittsburgh. Frick. Frick. This pots, you can see the colors in it this time of night. A little bit of light getting behind the, uh, the coleus that is in there. I just love it. And uh, Clematis back there on the fence looks like it has a couple buds. That's Jack Manii. Just doing great. As we come around here, some of the um, new things that I picked up this is bubblegum. Um, those are called bubblegum alliums, and they're just now starting to bloom. So won't that be a nice purple color? Sweet little heads. Loving it against that purple heuchera. And again, you know, you can see that the morning glory vine's doing what I wanted on these structures. It's softening those edges. Just looking great. Oh, Cosmos What's the are vegetable huge. garden doing? Oh, the vegetable garden's doing great. We, we need to eat some of that shard, honey. I know. We will do that. Um, but you can see how these are just uh, seeds that came back from last year of these Cosmos. I'm enjoying that the heck out of them. Still no red ripe tomatoes on um, the, I uh, can't think of that tomato back there that Ann gave me. But that will ripen. It, you know, it, we're not at its, it's going to probably ripen in August, late August. I need to trim back my celebrity rose. I have a stick down here because you can see where the Japanese beetles, we haven't had a hard time with them, but I came down here this evening. I think I just knocked one off and uh, trying to keep them off the buds. I have, I have drowned a few Japanese beetles in some soapy water where I could pick them off, but they haven't done a lot of destruction so far. And the last few things I want to show you before we leave, when we get up to the top, I have a couple of new day lilies that bloom a little later and we'll show you those. Um, so you wanna just follow me on up, right? Okay. 
a nice pot of black eyed Susans that have been here for a year that I haven't even planted out in the yard yet. Isn't that bright and cheery? But we have two day lilies, the last to bloom. Well, there's a lot of tomatoes here, Tree. <laughs> I know. You just, I love it. You can eat them all day long. And we do. Lisa and I are making salads every day, but I want to show you. This is Savannah Debutante. Isn't that a beautiful bloom? Ah, oh, I love the double petals. I love the color. Delicate. It's looking, so delicate it? and gorgeous. And look at all these buds. She'll take us into August, probably the second week of August, very easily. And then the last one is one of my favorites. And I bought it for my neighbor, whose name is Mary. And I'm going to measure how big the face. This is called Look Here, Mary. And look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful plant. Judy Bean on her property. This is showing eight inches. Eight inches. Across. Eight inches. Isn't this gorgeous? Yeah. Just gorgeous. I am just loving it. And you can see, um, look here, Mary has quite a ways to bloom. So we'll have this in color clear into August, no doubt. Uh, I'm keeping it sprayed. I've added more fencing too, guys, because of uh, the entrance here. I think it's helped keep them out of this garden, the deer, the one deer. But that's a little evening stroll through the garden. You, you know, it's just lovely to get out, sit in your gardens, walk in your gardens and see what's happening. So thanks for watching. Gardening on the West Fork. I'm going to bring Savannah Debutante in. And what are you watching there, Reg? I'm just giving a good view of the oh, okay. <laughs> late evening sun. I think it's the prettiest this time of night, don't you? It is. I love, I love early morning or late evening. You catch a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So that's Gardening on the West Fork. And um, thanks for walking with us tonight. And I will see you in the next one. I put this in my hair? Yeah. Yeah. See you guys.